Hi everyone. Today we're gonna to be drying and shading some slices of fruit, different types of fruit. So we're gonna draw and shade some kiwi slices, some watermelon, um, here's a lemon slice. And uh, last week I sent you a video on all about shading and blending. And um, in, in that video, we did a value scale. So I'm gonna be talking about that a little bit more in today's lesson. And we're gonna be thinking about those values as we shade our fruit. Um, and when we're done shading with pencil, we can add a little touch of color. You might notice that these have a little hint of color on them. And I think it almost makes them look kind of vintage, like an old drawing. Um, they're very muted and it's just an interesting uh, kind of fun way to draw and shade and add a little color to to your drawing so um, let's get started so hopefully you watched the video about shading and blending and you made a value scale and if you did uh, it might be good to have that handy to look at while we shade our slices of fruit so the first one we're gonna start with is a kiwi. And I'm sure you all know what a kiwi looks like when it's sliced open. Very, um, a lot of detail and very interesting and fun to draw. So um, maybe we'll, we could do it both ways. We could do the full slice and then we can do kind of the half of a slice. So, um, for the full slice, we want basically a circle, but it's going to be kind of a bumpy circle. Maybe not that bumpy, <laughs> but a little bit bumpy. And then there is a kind of uneven, wavy circle in the center. See that? So it's like a circle, but it's kind of got this uneven, wavy shape to it. It doesn't have to be any particular uh, wave. You can just make it kind of random on your own like that. And then we're going to draw these kind of starburst shapes coming out like that. So I'm just drawing little skinny almost like a long skinny oval coming out of that shape like that. Okay, and then we want to draw the seeds. So I'm going to take my one of my darkest pencils. This is a 6B. If you don't have a 6B, that's okay. You can just use your regular number two pencil. But I'm gonna just draw tiny little ovals or little seed shapes inside there. I think I wanna add one more here. So I'll show you a little bit more close up. I'm just drawing little tiny seeds. Can you see that? And I'm pressing kind of hard with my 6B pencil And again, if you don't have a 6B pencil, you're just gonna have to press hard with your regular number two. So here's my regular number two pencil, and I'll show you what that looks like. It's still pretty dark, I can get pretty dark. So you can just draw some seeds with that. Okay, so inside these grooves or these long oval shapes that you drew. Maybe I'll put one more there. Okay, and now I'm just gonna do some shading. So we wanna have different values, maybe right here. We'll do kind of a medium shading. So I'm not pressing hard. I'm, I am using a 6B pencil, but I'm not pressing hard. And I'll show you on my value scale. So if we look at my value scale, this might be like a four on the value scale, okay? And then I'm gonna take my blending tool 
And again, if you watch that other video, you might remember that I also said, if you don't have blending tools at home, you can use your finger or you can even use a Q-tip, which I think I have. Uh, okay. You can even use a Q-tip. Okay, but I'm gonna use my blending tool and I'm gonna soften that and smooth it around. And then since the center is so light, it's not quite white. See the background is white. This one is, this center is kind of a little off white or got, has a little bit of a yellow tone to it. So I think what I'm gonna do is just use my blending tool, no pencil directly, but just with my blending tool, I'm just gonna go over it a little bit to create a soft shade like that. And then I'm gonna go back to this I want to be a little bit darker, but not as darker, not as dark as my seeds. This is just really good practice for shading because in order to shade our slices of fruit, we need to use all these different values. And again, value just means dark and light. Different shades of dark and light. So now I'm gonna very, very lightly shade in this big area and again I'm using my 6B pencil but I'm not pressing I'm not using any pressure at all I'm just holding my pencil very very lightly but if you don't have a B pencil you can just use your regular number two HB pencil okay so you must have noticed just now that I was spinning my paper around. So if you have to turn your paper or your sketchbook around, go ahead and do that. So now I'm blending it and softening it. Okay, and now I want to get a little bit darker around the edges. And I think I made my circle a little too bumpy. So I'm going to maybe make it a little bit more round so it's not quite so bumpy. My pencil broke. Okay. And then I'm going to use my blending tool again. So I'm going pretty fast, kind of rushing through it, but you guys can take your time and pause the video whenever you need to. If you need to lighten this up a little bit, you can use your eraser. Um, you could also use your eraser to create maybe some highlights on either side of where those seeds are. Now, you might not have an erasing tool like this, that's fine, you might, if you have a good eraser on the end of your pencil, you can just use that. And then maybe soften it again a little bit so it's not so white with your blending tool. Okay, so there's a slice of kiwi. And now let's draw the one, the slice that is, I guess it's like a quarter. It's kind of shaped like this, right? So we're gonna start with that shape. And then we wanna add we want to add the outer skin part. So I'm just going to add another curved line like this. Okay. And then since it's kind of like we took this slice and we cut it in half, right? So it's like a quarter. So we're only going to see half of this shape. So I'm just gonna do that kind of random wavy circle shape right there. And then I'm gonna draw again those long circular 
or not circular, long oval shaped ridges like that. And then I'm gonna draw my seeds. And for the seeds, I have to press really hard or you can use a B pencil. If you use a B pencil, then you don't have to press so hard. But I'm drawing in those seeds. And then I'm gonna do some shading. Okay, so again, right next to the center, I'm gonna press and maybe, not pressing too hard, I'm gonna maybe do like a three or four on my value scale. Then I'm gonna take my blending tool or my Q-tip or your finger and soften it up. Maybe just use a tiny little bit of that for the center. Okay, then I'm gonna press a little bit harder on these long oval shapes. So not as dark as my seeds, but a little bit darker. And since I have my dark pencil out, I might as well shade the kiwi skin. I'm gonna shade a little bit darker here. And if you eat kiwis, you might know that the skin, the outer part of the kiwi is kind of um, fuzzy and furry, right? <laughs> Feels kind of fuzzy. So when you blend this, I don't know if you want to come out a little bit, out, out of the lines a little bit, you could, and maybe that would help it look kind of fuzzy and furry. And then if you have enough pencil on your blending tool, that might be enough to add shading here. You might not even have to shade it with your pencil. But I would go back in and add those highlights. Maybe a little bit more in the center. I think I didn't make my, I think I should have made this a little bit wider. So let me erase some of that. I put the skin a little too close, I think. So I'm gonna move the skin out a little bit there. So see, sometimes you gotta change your drawing. Sometimes you, you realize, oh, I don't like how that looks. I need to change it. All right, so it's not as easy as you might think shading slices of fruit, but it's very good practice. All right, so I'm gonna come outside the lines a little bit to help it look fuzzy and furry. And if you want, you could even add a few, a few little lines to help it look fuzzy and furry. Okay, maybe a little darker here. So there's our kiwi slices. All right, so let's do some other, let's do some other fruit. So our next slice fruit is going to be a slice of watermelon. So we're just gonna start with like a triangle shape, but instead of a straight line here, I'm gonna make it a curve line. So it almost looks like a slice of pizza or something, right? Curve line here, straight line here. And if you want it to look a little bit more three-dimensional, you can draw an angled line here. And then come down and join it like this. All right, so now it kind of looks like a three-dimensional slice of watermelon. All right, and then we're going to add a line, a skinny line right here. And we can add the angled line here. And then, so this is gonna be the green part of the slice of watermelon. 
So you see on a watermelon slice, it's green down here, and then it gets a little lighter, and then there's like a white part, and then it starts to kind of fade into the red part. So instead of a straight line here, we're gonna make this a little bit, maybe a little bit wavy, like that. And then we're just gonna draw some seeds. So we're gonna use an oval shape and you should have them kind of go in different directions. So don't have them all facing in one direction. Maybe something like that, okay? Now, it's hard to make these look um, the way they're supposed to because we're not doing them in color. We're doing them in pencil, right? So they're gonna not be as easy to identify or not easier to draw with just pencil shading than it would be if we were doing color, right? If we were doing color, we'd immediately know that it's a kiwi or a piece of watermelon. But anyway, this is really good practice. So I'm taking my 6B pencil and I'm just shading along the edge, kind of dark. And then I'm gonna take my blending tool and soften that and bring some of that shading up a little bit. Okay, um, I'm going to soften this line. So I'm gonna erase that line and maybe just use my, again, finger or Q-tip or blending tool because I want to kind of make it look like it's fading into white. Okay, so if we look at our value scale, what numbers do we have here? Well, this might be like an eight, okay? And then it's getting lighter and it's turning more into like a three and a two and a one as it gets lighter. Okay, so let's do some shading on the red part. So for this one, I'm just gonna use my number two pencil. And remember, shading is just coloring in with your pencil. And you're creating shades with your pencil. So depending on how hard you press and depending on what kind of pencil you use, you're, you're creating different shades. Dark and light, lighter shades. So that's why it's called shading. So I'm gonna blend this in a minute, but I'm just very lightly coloring in, not using a lot of pressure. Okay. And now I'm gonna blend. And you'll notice as I'm blending, it's softening, but do you notice what else it's doing? It's darkening it just a little bit. It's getting a little bit darker because there's already some pencil on my blending tool, right? So it's getting a little bit darker. Haven't done the seeds yet. And we don't really wanna see a line there at the end, so maybe I'll soften that line a little bit. It was kind of a wavy line, remember? I used my eraser. Maybe I'll go back to my big blending tool. And I'm just gonna bring that down a little bit. Okay. And right along this crease, I'm gonna maybe use my eraser like that so it looks a little lighter. Okay, and now I'm gonna do the seeds. So the seeds, I'm gonna use my darkest pencil, which is a 6B, and I'm gonna press, whoops, I'm gonna press hard. This pencil is broken. Hang on, just a minute. Okay, so I have a different pencil now. It's a real short pencil, see that? But it's an 8B and it's a really good pencil. It's really dark and it's nice and sharp, and it's not broken. So now I'm gonna do some watermelon seeds. So you can just use that little oval shape 
I'm pressing really hard, and if you don't have a B pencil again, you can just use your number two pencil. But you're just gonna have to press hard to try and get that really dark value. So this would be like a 10, right? This would be like a nine or 10 on our value scale. All right, and then what you can do above each seed, you can blend it a little bit like this. Do you see what I'm doing? There's a seed and I'm just kind of blending and kind of making a dark shadowy pocket, almost like a little pocket because the seed is down inside, you know, kind of in the fruit. And then if you really want to get fancy, for those of you who are really like a challenge, you can take some eraser and on the other end, maybe do a little, or even around the whole area, you can do a little highlight like that. And then maybe soften it a little bit with your blending tool. All right. So that's pretty fancy, isn't it? I think I want a little bit darker value here on the rind. All right, so there's our watermelon slice. It's amazing how long you can spend drawing a slice of watermelon. Now again, it's hard because it's not gonna look as much like a watermelon slice without all the color, right? So that's why we, it's challenging. We have to do a lot of work to make it look like a slice of watermelon. Okay, let's do one more slice of fruit. Okay, before we do our last slice of fruit, I wanted to show you if you want an extra little challenge and you do want to add a little touch of color, sometimes it's fun to combine um, pencil shading with a little hint of color. So that's what I did here on the watermelon. After I was done doing all the pencil shading, I added just some very soft red and green. And it's a combination of pencil shading with a little bit of color. And I'll show you what the kiwi looks like too. Okay, so it's pencil shading. And then I went over the pencil shading just a little bit with colored pencil to add a little hint, a little hint of color. So I'll show you how I do that on our lemon slice. We're going to draw a lemon slice. So we're going to draw basically the same shape that we did with the kiwi slice. So it's like a quarter a quarter of the lemon. So it's like if you slice the lemon in half and you looked at it straight on, you'd have a circle and then it's cut again. Okay, and then I think it might be easier to draw this part if you turn it upside down. So you just want another, another curved line or half a circle. around it. So that's for the outer part of the lemon. Okay, and now let me show you a picture of a lemon slice. Here's a picture of a lemon slice. So we have this line and this line already drawn. Now we're going to draw this line and we're actually going to use a scalloped line. Do you remember what a scalloped line is? A scalloped line is just a curved line like this. Remember that, scallop lines? Okay, so before we draw the scallop lines though, let's draw half a circle in the middle, like that, little half a circle. And then we're gonna have one, two, three, maybe four, four lines, almost like spokes from um, a wheel, maybe like that. And I'm just doubling them up so I have two little lines at each section, almost like spokes on a wheel. 
And then I'm going to draw, and I went too far with those. I didn't have to go that far, so I don't want them to touch the edge of the lemon. Now I'm going to draw that scallop line. So it's a curve line, a curve line, a curve line here, and a curve line there. Okay. So can you guys see that? All right, so let's do the pencil shading first, and then if you wanna add a little color, you can. If you don't want to, you don't have to. So the darkest values would probably be on the bottom of the skin of the lemon, down here, and I'm just using a number two HB pencil. And again, if it's easier to turn it upside down and shade it this way, you can do that. So I just get a little bit of shading there and then I'm gonna just do a little bit of dark shading right here next to that little circle. And maybe I'll do a little bit on the edges right here. So of course lemons are yellow, so they're very light in color. So we don't need a lot of dark shading. Okay, so now that I did that, I'm gonna take my blender, or again, it might be your finger or a Q-tip. And I'm just gonna soften that and add some light shading in the middle. And I think I need just to add a little bit more. Whoops, not with a green colored pencil. There we go. Picked up the wrong pencil. I'm just going to add a little bit more. Not pressing hard at all. Now you might figure out that it's a little bit harder to blend a harder pencil. So a number two pencil an HB is a little bit harder to blend and soften than it is like another B pencil. All right, so I just want a little bit, I'm not pressing it hard at all, I'm just adding a little bit of shading to the rest of the lemon slice so it's not pure white. And if you decide you covered something up that you didn't want to cover, like I want these lines to kind of stay more white, you can go back in with your eraser. And I'm, cur I'm curving the edges too on those, these little sections. Now, if you just have your finger, you can just do this if you don't have a blending tool. All right, so there's our lemon slice. And again, if you wanna add a little touch of color, you know, I wouldn't press hard. It's just a little subtle, soft touch of color on top of the pencil. Just a different look. Just gives a little bit of color to it. All right, so there's our lemon slice. Now, if you want to keep practicing and doing do other slices of fruit, you could do an open slice of apple. You could do a slice of um, a banana or um, a pineapple or something like that. I would love to see your fruit slice drawings. So I hope you had fun drawing and shading slices of fruit. And if you want to create one big picture featuring all different types of fruit on one piece of paper, that would be great. I was doing mine each on separate pieces of paper, but you might want to put it all together into um, a composition of, of all different fruit on one piece of paper. So that would be fabulous. I'd love to see it when you're done. So have a great week, everybody.